hello guys uh, welcome back to the channel if you are new to the channel feel welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content uh, this is your modern day spokesman and uh, today we're going to be looking at VAT and oh, by the way uh, I, I decided to put a picture of me after one of uh, the users of the channel commented on you know wanting to see my face because they just you see my eyes most of the time but anyways today we're going to be looking at VAT in this brief video we're going to look at what VAT is um, how it's calculated and some of the regulations surrounding VAT VAT is an indirect form of tax and not to be confused with income tax which is a direct form of tax VAT has its own rules and uh, regulations it is governed by the Value Added Tax Act 89 of 1991. This is in the context of the South African tax system. It is currently levied at 15% on cost of goods and services supplied, with exceptions that do apply. These are goods that do not are not uh, inclusive of VAT, or VAT is not charged on the cost of sales of those goods. Now, VAT is a fundamental system which the government uses to collect revenue just like in the case of income taxes that is also another way for the south african government or governments around the world it's not necessarily only in south africa that uh, that is charged that governments use to collect revenue in which in turn would be used to provide or pay for services like your know, policing military social grants education and other government projects so that is very very important as i did indicate earlier that there are some goods which are exceptions to the vet system which means that these goods are exclusive of vet vet is not charged on these goods this includes your brown bread samp maize tinned pilchards and rice but not limited to the list and the list is always being updated every tax year so you might want to keep updated with that list with each financial year one of the reasons why these goods are not or one of the reasons why these goods are exclusive of tax is that these are your basic goods that almost each and every household uses on a daily basis so uh, the government saw fit that our vet should not be charged on these basic goods mm -mm -mm. what a delicious example i chose that burger is looking very good by the way uh, okay now guys this is how you're going to calculate your VAT this is the most basic calculation so when an amount is inclusive of VAT which means that the amount includes VAT in its cost of sales as in this case we have got a cost of 230 rands a quite an expensive beggar so now you want to find and you want to find out how much of that amount is going to be paid over to the revenue services guys you take the basic amount that you're given, which is inclusive of VAT, you multiply it with 15 divided by 115. And it's going to give you the amount of VAT that was charged on that particular product or service. In this case, it was 30 rands. That means the amount exclusive of VAT is 200 rands. So the 200 rands is going to the seller. The 30 rands the seller will have to pay over to SARS, right? i'm feeling very sad now we've come to the end of this brief video guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel just hit the subscribe button so that you're notified when we upload future videos now guys this is your channel it's always been your channel if there is a topic that you want assistance assistance with it could be an audit it could be tax it could be financial accounting it could be financial management it doesn't really matter which topic it is just hit me up on the comment section and i'm gonna make sure i upload that video peace